my hand up here until it's tight. <laughs> can't see anything. See that? Good evening. I'm Siwapili Rose Amador, and this is Native Voice TV. Well, we have something different for you today. We have a live audience, so I'm like the native Oprah. So, <laughs> <laughs> but actually, uh, if you've been watching the news like I have, you're hearing all these horrible things about the stock market, and if you had stocks, you'd probably lose money, but I didn't have any, so I didn't lose any, but there's a lot of bad things going on, a lot of people losing their jobs, and it's really depressing. But someone says laughter is the best medicine. I think that was Vernon Medicine Cloud. So with us today, we have <laughs> Vernon Medicine Cloud from the Indian Health Center. Thank you. And Mark Yaffe, one of the comedians that's going to be performing for a show coming up real soon. And Mark, I saw him uh, tape a show for Showtime that's going to be coming out later this year. And that was pretty exciting and down in um, L.A. Yeah, we did it uh, back in January and Rose and... Uh, Peter Rose and Steve uh, drove all the way down from San Jose. <laughs> our, our sent, our, they, they won the longest uh, drive competition. Yes, so, we did. <laughs> uh, w w did you get a prize yet? We haven't Not yet. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm well, waiting. I, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do comedy. That'll be okay, your, good. Your <laughs> consolation prize. Yeah, it was awesome. And we had uh, our uh, Pow Wow Comedy Jams, myself and four other guys, uh, and, along with Charlie Hill and uh, Larry Omaha, and then Howie Miller uh, came down from uh, Canada. Yeah, that awesome. was a lot of fun. It that was, was great. Yeah. And you went to Iraq, and you've been all over the place. You've been doing all kinds of uh, performances across the nation. I'm trying to keep busy, my family. I have to send pictures on the phone so they don't forget who I am. Oh, well, I, I yeah. <laughs> Is that a postcard? <laughs> well, we used to send postcards. Now we just send a camera phone picture. Exactly, now. yeah. Where are you? Yeah, there I am, huh? <laughs> so we have another comedy show coming up. It's what, the third annual? It's the third annual, that's correct. For the Indian Health Center yep. of Santa Clara Valley. Now correct. you work there, Vernon. Yes, I do. And they make you do all the work, <laughs> what I understand. That's what they say. <laughs> and what do we have coming up? Well, as you said, we have our third annual fundraiser comedy jam. It's a fundraiser for the Indian Health Center. It's been a great it's been a great show. Mark's been there since uh, the first annual. He's just been a staple of the comedy jam. Really great guy, great comedy. Yeah. Uh, this year we have four comics. Our uh, Mark, of course, is one of them. Dean Hagelin from the hit show The X Files is coming back by popular demand. He was there last year, and then we also have Jeff Applebaum. He's been on all the talk shows and. Uh, pretty much Leno, Letterman, uh, Craig Ferguson, those wow. shows. And he's a, also a local gentleman from the uh, Willow Glen area. So we're gonna have him, really good, really good funny guy. Mm. And then Lizette Mazel, she was Crackle's first high wire uh, winner. So she's a really good uh, comic as well. Well, so. Mark's been on Native Voice TV. Yes, he has. So hey. <laughs> Maybe yeah, not Jaden. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. They don't, I got brand that's right. right. <laughs> well, uh, are you gonna give us a preview of what we sure. can see there? Yeah, I, I just want to say I got to work with all of them before and they're all funny so I, I, Vernon's done a great job putting the lineup together and I'm, yeah I'm, I'll, I'll come up and do a couple minutes yeah. and give everyone a taste okay okay all right preview time <laughs> oh look at real live studio audience you may not see that at home but there's four people out here so just <laughs> thanks I know, I know what some of you guys are thinking it, it looks like a cross between George Lopez and Christopher Walken <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's me. You know, I had the misfortune. They say everyone has a celebrity stunt double or whatever. Unfortunately, mine was the Night Stalker, Richard Ramirez. <laughs> that's, that's not the celebrity you want to have. And, boy, I, I couldn't get a date for like three years. I didn't want a girlfriend. I just wanted an alibi. <laughs> Actually, I grew up down in L.A., so um, not, uh, did not grow up on the reservation. Never met my birth father. Uh, runs from responsibility. <laughs> Serious, I was adopted at birth by a Jewish father and a Mexican mother. I'm an adopt a hoe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jewish father, Navajo son, which makes me a bargain hunter gatherer. <laughs> yeah. 
quarter Navajo, quarter Diné, which makes me a duh. <laughs> of course, you give our traditional Navajo greeting, yate, or for my two spirited friend, yate. <laughs> I love that. I, you know, I was disconnected from the culture. You know, I didn't find out it was Navajo until I was 25. All those years growing up playing cowboys and Indians, I was suiting up with the wrong team. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Man, you got to go to Navajo country. If you get a chance to go down and hit the, that, that you did no better deals than you go to a Navajo flea market. I got a ton of coal, two Navajo blankets, and three new release DVDs for like $15. <laughs> they, they, they'll hook you up, I'll tell you. <laughs> no sheep. No, we, <laughs> next time. <laughs> I had my rental car with me. I'm like, here, Rio. This didn't work. <laughs> But I love I love Navajo folks are great. Got to got to meet quite a few over the years on the road. And two hundred thousand Navajos, of course, we're the largest tribe in the country. Two hundred thousand Navajos, eight last names. <laughs> <laughs> you ever looked at a Navajo phone book? <laughs> It'd be like a three hundred page phone book. Page eighty nine, you're still on the Begays. <laughs> <laughs> Ernest Begay, Ernest Begay Jr., <laughs> Ernesto Begay, their half Mexican cousin. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, my favorite is I was we were, we were driving through the res one time in uh, Four Corners and they had a, a high school basketball game on like Shiprock versus Tuba City. It's like, Begay pass to Yazi, Yazi to Begay, Begay to Sosi, back to Sosi, blocked by Sosi. <laughs> <laughs> so my name last name Yaffe, so it sounds like Yazi with a lisp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was weird too growing up being adopted. This is true. My adopted mother, she always said, if you don't behave, we're going to give you back to the Indians. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> what you do here? <laughs> like Rose said, we get to travel around a lot. Actually, uh, I just got back from Iraq, and wow, that was, that was whew. I give a lot of credit to all the soldiers and people doing stuff there. But that, that's rugged country, I'll tell you what. That, that place, 126 degrees, and I had 120. It was so, it was so hot, I saw a camel's hump evaporate. <laughs> All desert, no gambling, no drinking, no women showing any skin. It was like being in Utah. <laughs> we need to cheer them up over there in Iraq. I think we need to open a Hooters. <laughs> They'd be like, welcome to Hooters. <laughs> Check out the Achilles heel on her. <laughs> Yeah, watch way too much TV, yeah, TV junkie, 500 channels. You know, it's almost every group now has their own network. Yeah, that's true. I think we need an all-native television network. Yeah. Yeah. All right, TP TV. Yeah, yeah, there we go. We got Native Voice TV, we go nationwide. TP TV, yeah. Rose. Yeah. Well, shows like Survivor Reservation, <laughs> Wheel of Misfortune, <laughs> <laughs> Whose Land Is It Anyway? <laughs> That's right. I'll have comedy on my native network too. I'll have a, I'll have a Native American spinoff, the old Beverly Hillbillies. Yeah. Yeah, be like native style. Be like, we'll listen to a story about an Indian named Red, and old Galala Sioux always kept his family fed. A lot of yogurt fishing and a lot of buffalo, till the white man came along and said, "You gotta go." <laughs> We're still here. There you go. Give yourselves a round of applause, audience. That's yeah. right. Not going anywhere. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's a, we don't care. We are going to party like it's 1491. <laughs> it's odd, but you know, it's historical fact. The government tried to kill off minorities. We know this. We've read it in our history books. It, they gave uh, African American syphilis. They gave Native American smallpox. They gave Asian Americans driver's license. <laughs> oh, that's not right. I know, but I'm not from the Bay. I drove in your little Bay Area that was on the 580, the 680, the 880. All I know is I got lapped. <laughs> you guys don't mess around here. <laughs> Yep, so uh, I've been traveling, was over in Japan, and Japan is crazy because the Japanese aren't anything American. They're into hip hop, gangster rap in Japan. Yes, I'm serious. Biggest rapper in Japan, uh, the rapper 50 Cent, or as he's known in Tokyo, 67 yen. <laughs> <laughs> rap has gone international, though. They got rappers from Sweden, Germany, Australia. They got a rapper from India. India. His name is Slurpy G. <laughs> I heard him on satellite radio. He's like cruising through the store and my O9 Suburban. Got my shotgun and my pistol, so you best not be disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> right, Indians and Indians, we need to join forces. I talked to an Indian guy, he goes, my friend, we have much in common. He said, we have much in common, my friend. Um, our people make reservation, your people have reservation. <laughs> 
Our people have the river Ganges. Your people have the government commodity cheese. <laughs> Our people run the 7-Eleven. Your people want us to roll 7 or 11. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks a lot. And come on out. Yeah. Comedy Jam, make sure yeah. you're here. Wow, look, let's take a look at our great audience. Where's our audience out yeah. there? Oh, do the wave. <laughs> oh, they're not, there you are. Oh, wave everybody quick. <laughs> great job. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. A couple more weeks, a few more weeks, huh? Yep, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I had a lot of fun down in Pasadena, and every time I've seen, I saw you at the improv, and there was a big fight in the audience, but there was, it yeah, wasn't so, over, it yeah, wasn't a bunch. Yeah, turn your cell phone off during the show, they got in a big, yeah, remember that? They yeah. Brawl and you and Steve were all mellow, just sitting there having a good time. They, well, they're, they're, they're fighting back there. They're all fighting around, and <laughs> calm, you know, these TV hosts, you got. And we're know. supposed to be laughing, right? It's not fighting. Well, at least it wasn't during my part of the show. Well, that's so right, that's saying, right. We laughed hard, that. yes, yeah. that's right. <laughs> in my part of the show, they were sleeping, unfortunately. No, no, know. they were laughing. You <laughs> killed. You were good. No, we really enjoy your comedy. And I can't wait to see you on Showtime. I'm in the summer. So they're good. they said they're going to give us a little uh, tour. Hopefully we'll be come, coming around and come back here. But Yeah, we'll make sure. We'll, uh, this tour, this is going to be fun, though. Cause, oh, uh, it will be. Every year it gets bigger, doesn't it, Bernie? It, it does. It keeps, keeps yeah. going. And it's like this, these guys get brainstorms, and they have the committee working and looking at tapes and yeah. analyzing all the Bay So I'd like to apologize for all those other 100 Bay Area comedians that were considered, but you had to pick the all-stars. <laughs> well, of course, yeah. you know, only yeah. the best. Definitely. Yeah, so. Okay, so give us some details. It's where, when, and I think we have a, a flyer, too, that we can show on the screen. Great. But it's, there it is on the screen. Oh, nice. So go ahead, tell us details. Sure, it's gonna be at the Soto Theater uh, at the Center for Employment Training, uh, 701 Vine Street here in San Jose. It's going to be uh, doors will open at seven or six p.m. I should say, and the show will start at seven. And you can come early. General admission tickets will be twenty-five dollars, pretty much all basic seating. Mm -hmm. It's an eighteen and over crowd. Uh, tickets are twenty-five twenty-five dollars, as I said. And we're going to have some sign auction items. One of the auction items up is going to be a handmade beaded rattle, wow. also a um, elk drum, elk hand drum, a Jonathan Chichu autograph package, a puck, and a card and some other items wow. so that'll be really nice and an ipod nano wow some nice prizes definitely some nice prices up for a silent auction we'll have a little bit of a raffle too there's a two-hour massage in there for a raffle item so some really good prizes wow yeah now this is a fundraiser for the indian health center tell us a little bit about the indian health center sure the indian health center is a nonprofit indian clinic that was opened in 1977 uh, it opened first to serve the needs of American Indians, but then w the doors later came open to other minorities and everybody else. Mm -hmm. So we serve anybody in need of services. We have uh, general medical care there, general dentistry, mental health counseling services, um, just a lot of services that mm -hmm. the community needs. And we do a lot of outreach, a lot of community events. It's just a really great center and a really great place for PR people to come. Yes, it is. And Mark, now you went to Iraq. Why did you go? And who did you go with? Um, the Marines give really cheap haircuts in Iraq. So yeah. I think, you know, my hair was like almost as long you, as yours. You know, that's, it was. And when I saw you there at the improv, you had your long hair. Then I saw you, and I knew you cut it because I saw your website. And then when I saw you in Pasadena, I, I kept yeah. hesitating. It didn't look like A you. I thought I, yeah, it was like, is that Mark? Haircut. I guess yeah. it is Mark. I had like little streaks. They just... Yeah, so we decided we need to do, you know, we were over there for 10 days and it's, you know, really difficult conditions for the, the soldiers over there and the Marines. And, and so we said, yeah, let's, you know, I want to do something different. That, mm -hmm. What's someone not done on stage before, you know, in Iraq? So I said, well, we can, I think maybe I'm going to cut my hair. And, and uh, G.R. Redwater from Powell Wow Comedy Jam was one of the other comedians. And then we had a local guy from uh, San Jose, Justin McClure. And G.R. was like, I said, hey, I'm thinking about cutting my hair on stage. He goes, oh, you got to do it. You know, JR jumped on it. And then it was happening. And you know, he wasn't going to let it go. So we're running around the base. He found a couple sets of clippers. And my hair was so long, they said, you have to, you know, scissor it up first, you know, because you couldn't just take the clippers to it and ruin the clippers. So it's like, you know, sunset, and they back this, the stage. There's no stage because they're out in the middle of the desert. So they back okay. the flatbed truck up, and then it says, oh, that's the stage. And then across from the flatbed truck, they bring a Humvee up, and Turn on the spotlights. That's, that's really the lights. wow. And, uh, and then they had this megaphone. They said, "That's what you'll speak." And uh, we did get a real. <laughs> we did get a real microphone. Yeah. Wow. And I said, "Okay." So it was, it felt, I felt like Bob Hope. Yeah. 
<laughs> and they all just crowded around and say, hey, I'm, uh, you know, I started co joking about it. I bet you wish you had hair like this. Uh, you guys remember when you had hair? And then, yeah, boo. And they started all harassing me. Then we started <laughs> clowning. And, and then, and then uh, the next thing I know, it's like, and the Clippers started and just did the whole show the whole time. So wow. A lot of fun. Well, probably help when it being so hot over there. Yeah, but then you cooled my it down. Was just sunburning oh. the whole rest of the oh, time. Oh dear! You know? Oh so, no! Yeah, <laughs> and how long were you there? Um, eight days in Iraq, a couple days in Kuwait. And, and how many shows did you do? On the plane. They ran us around. We did like uh, probably fourteen shows. Wow! So you'd get on a helicopter, you'd wake up, they'd like do the do the show. We did a show like one time in a, in a little mess hall for like twelve guys at eight in the morning. Yeah, it was pretty bizarre. And then, then we went over to this mechanics bay. They said, well, these guys are working. They couldn't, they couldn't come and see your show. So you want to go say hi to them? Yeah, let's go. So the three of us went over there. And they had a little tool shed, the tool shed break room. Uh -huh. and I said, well, yeah, just, well, you guys can come to the show. One, let's go do a show for you. So we went inside the tool shed and did a little 10-minute show uh, for them. It was cool. Yeah. So what was the largest audience? Were they just different? Like 700. Oh, really? That we was did, pretty uh, large. We were at the air base. It was called uh, uh, Al-Assad. Uh -huh. One of Saddam's old air bases, you know, the theater, you know, all pretty, pretty well, you know, for, for Iraq it was pretty well uh, maintained, and mm -hmm. so that was pretty bizarre doing a show in one of Saddam's old theaters. Yeah. Wow. But, uh, so how were you received over there? Um, they, they like, they were ready to laugh, you yeah. know. They're just bored. Over uh, there, you know? It's, it's, yeah. it sounds, you know, it's, it's, it's really settled down. All the guys mm -hmm. say when they go back every time, it's, uh, it's basically more peaceful. The, the folks are more cooperative. It seems like everyone's trying to get back to normal. And so a lot of times they just, you know, they go out and do their patrols. They, they eat. They work out. They try to stay, you know, in good spirits, mm -hmm. and, you know. And they're, uh, they only get coffee like once a month. So we get to be the big deal. And we have the escorts. You know, these guys are driving around and, you know, red light. And stuff. Like we're in a big hurry to get somewhere on the base. <laughs> where, you know, you get to run stop signs and run, oh, wow. on, you know, the, the MP vehicles. And so, yeah, you feel like you're... You feel like you're someone special. And then they threw us back in the economy class and, uh -huh. and uh, fly back to the United States. <laughs> How long did okay. that take the flight to get over like, there? Uh, yeah, 18 hours. <gasps> yeah, it's a little bit wow. long. Probably need some comedy on that plane, huh? Oh, yeah. We had, yeah, we had some. We slept. <laughs> you know. that's, that's, you got to do that. But we, we had a good time. That was really scary. If you, ever, if you ever get the chance to drive in Kuwait, double up on all the insurance. Cause they don't have off ramps on both sides of the freeway. So <laughs> this side of the freeway has an off ramp. This side of the freeway wants to be on that off ramp. They, they have a little turnout. You make a U-turn right in the middle of the, the median in the center divider, and they just whoosh, pull right out in front of you. So one guy's going like 120 in his Mercedes, and another guy's going 35 with a bunch of goats in the back of his little Toyota pickup. Really? <laughs> That's, it's, it's insane, yeah. And then the cars break down, they just leave it on the side of the road. You know? yeah. <laughs> kind of yeah. like we do, huh? Yeah, exactly. There's, wow. there's no triple A out there. <laughs> Wow, that's uh, too much. Yeah, it was pretty, uh, pretty eye-opening. Yeah. Yeah. So you just came from Texas. We're down in San Antonio, Texas. You're right. making the rounds. And where are you going next? I will be in uh, Alturas, up there, um, uh, Modoc County. We're going to be entertaining the, the Cedarville Rancheria is going to be out there. Modoc, Klamath <coughs> tribes. It's about like five or six tribes in the area that we're coming out. We're doing a um, fundraiser show for their local theater. It's called the Niles Theater. So. I don't think they get the signal up there. Though. It's, it's pretty. <laughs> you would never guess you're in California. It's like way up in the corner. Wow. So a forgotten part of California. Yeah. So we'll be, yeah, we'll be all together there. And then um, what else? And uh, get together again in May down at uh, Table Mountain Rancheria near Porterville. Oh, wow. Some, you're on the road quite a bit. Do some individual shows in between. And well, you at home have to come to this show because Mark is really going big time. If you miss him now, I mean, you could at least say, I saw him <laughs> when he was still at affordable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now we got to pay big money, no people yeah. to get in to see him. Well, so. He's still old Vernon money. Yeah, yeah well, you know. <laughs> Doesn't everybody? <laughs> But yeah, this is pretty exciting. Now you said there's going to be four comedians instead that's of right. three that's been advertised, so you're right. actually getting more for your money. Exactly, and we just added the fourth comedian last week, so really good selection. Wow, it's going to be a great time. It's a great lineup. It's a it good. Is. It's a lot of fun. It it's is a lot definitely. Of fun. It's a fundraiser, and you know our um, 
slogan is laughter truly is a me best medicine and that you know we believe that the Indian Health Center that's true you know uh, whenever you're down and uh, out or whatever you know laughter always cheers you up so not um, to laugh at the other people but to laugh at yourself right exactly, okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we'll make sure there you go but uh, you know it is a fundraiser and a lot of our uh, some of our grants are getting cut and that's for everybody across the board city county state federal mm -hmm. um, not only our clinic but other clinics in the nation so uh, we did this fundraiser or to um, raise funds for those additional services that are getting cut. Um, and a lot of our services go mostly to our youth and our seniors. So it's um, a really good, it's a really good thing, you know. Yeah, it seems like, you know, everyone's hurting for money right, right now. It's either the job, you know, you don't have a job or there's, and there's more need for services. Right. And then the people providing the services are getting cut back, you know, right. because of all the funding cuts. So, you know, this is one way we can have a good time and help out and for a good cause, because, Definitely. you know, as you said, we go to the comedy clubs, you pay a lot more to drink minimum right. and, you know, eating and, and the fight breaks out yeah the <laughs> fight breaks out and it, you know there's just so much going on there Twenty dollars right? for parking yeah it's, it that's, is, that's right the parking deal. too yeah. you're you're right i forgot about that in downtown yeah. san jose and you know right it's 25 bucks for 15 minutes you know? there you go exactly and we got so, I mean, plenty you know of parking. it's it's really really a good deal and I, I i do hope the community comes out and supports it and sell it out because Definitely. um would you say we almost sold it out and kind of double that <laughs> yeah definitely <laughs> yeah it was it was a they pretty were, good crowd last year yeah, so hopefully we can sell yeah, it out it this year pretty full so definitely yeah, it's, we'll have to spread the word and get right. everybody out there and but it's just a great time you know it's the third time we've had it so uh, it's definitely oh, how can they get tickets they can uh, call myself uh, Vernon Medicine Cloud uh, call me at the Indian Health Center my phone number is 408 445 3400 extension okay. 208 or anybody else at the Indian Health Center um, all our staff is aware of the comedy jam everyone's uh, on staff is um, you know on board with it so mm -hmm. they know um, and they, they also can check out our website www.indianhealthcenter.org can we get that up on the screen again the uh, flyer so we can jot that down I know we have it there somewhere did you lose it where'd it go <laughs> <laughs> But um, and can they get tickets at the door? Yes, they can. Oh, they tickets can. Tickets will be available okay, at the door as well. Good. Yes. Okay, but it's good to get them in advance, just in case it gets just sold out. Just in case it gets sold out, right? You don't want to be left out. Definitely. And we'll all be talking about it, and they'll feel bad right. if they didn't yeah. go. And right. It, it's going to be definitely a good crowd. Um, Dean, he's a you know. Um, everybody has their little clicks and stuff like that and so dean has a big following with like the ufo phenomena crowd and stuff since he's been on the x files oh. and <laughs> you know uh mark has so if you're following. an alien it's okay yeah definitely okay, <laughs> <laughs> well, i have my following i've been in police files so. <laughs> okay <laughs> uh -huh. my probation officer will be following me my, <laughs> my counselor will be following me uh, Mark, you know, is American Indian, so he's got the American Indian crowd and Jeff. Yeah, Mark. Yeah. Cut, right. yeah. Cutbacks this year. We only got a quarter blood. That's all we could afford. Though, then. Well, hey, you know. <laughs> Take what we can this year, people. There you Cut go. Cut corners. Yeah. <laughs> Times are hard. <laughs> Definitely. But each one of them have a following, so it's, it's mm -hmm. going to be a good show, and they're all great comics. and They're, they're going to make you laugh, guaranteed. Well, I know Mark will. Oh, yeah. Well, see, you know, you, um, the very first year I was out of town, so I had to go all the way to um, Albuquerque just to see him. <laughs> so I could have seen him right here. Right. So if you miss out, you know, you might have to go all the way across the country to see him. Yeah. Good excuse. Go to Gathering of Nations. But it'd be a lot easier just to do it here. That's yeah, a long drive you? to Albuquerque. It's a lot more expensive, yeah. too. Yeah. And yeah. you got to fly one of those discount airlines, you know. I flew southwest to Albuquerque. We'd be ground by 10 minutes. So. <laughs> <Did you? laughs> well, I always go southwest because they don't charge for the luggage. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. It's getting so expensive. I was getting ready to just call into the cargo space so I didn't have to pay the bag fee. I'll just, here, they $25. Charge a lot. They, they charge I'll just a lot. I'll put myself no, in no, a suitcase. No, they charge yeah. for the suitcases now. That's what I'm saying. I can't afford the seat and the suitcase. I'll just be in the suitcase. <laughs> well, go with it where they take the animals and stuff, the exactly. doggies. Yeah. But they're charging a lot for them, too, now, so. Yeah, just get it. Just charging go see for the everything. show they're here, you know. They're charging there for you know. oxygen now on the airplane. That's, that's bad. <laughs> and yeah. then you get a cold from it, huh? Exactly. <laughs> so what are your long-range plans, Mark? Well, I hope to be coming to San Jose for at least the next five years and perform annually at the... Beyond that, I don't have many goals. You know. Oh, you're not going to No, we're trying do. to... Actually, we're, we're, you know, we're hoping to develop a... Uh, 
uh, a sitcom or you know more like a reality series yeah. about, uh, about our powwow comedy jam jokesignals.com by the way for yeah. powwow comedy jam so we're thinking you know uh larry david you know the guy from hbo curb your enthusiasm meets uh entourage you know we're kind of we'll do a native style though so oh that'd be cool yeah so. now you have a couple uh dvds out shows i yeah i have my my personal dvd is called locked and loaded you can get that on my website trailoflaughs.com or probably at the uh I'll be selling also at the Comedy Jam, and uh, oh, good. proceeds okay. will be a portion of proceeds will be going toward the Indian Health Center, so we'll be donating that. Um, and our tour, oh, we just uh, we did a well, it's been two years now, I guess, huh? Since Albuquerque, Joke Signals is our name, our so like our website, Joke Signals. So that's that's a good yeah. one too. Like but yeah, chart, if you can yeah. pick those up while you're over there, you know, it's uh, be worth it because I, I have both of them. But actually, I ordered them online because, I, as I said, I missed the very first show because I was out of town. So then I had to go all the way to Albuquerque just to see him, and then I had to buy it over there. And oh yeah, yeah, that so online's work. not working right now. They have to come to San Jose to pick up those DVDs. They're not available online until after oh, well, see? March twenty eighth. You'll be sold out by then. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'll burn some in the car. It's all right. I got, I'll have the DVD. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll bootleg okay. our DVDs for you if you really want one bad enough. Yes, well, they'll want one, I'm sure. Yeah. They'll want one. So at the Indian Health Center, you opened up a new site. Tell right. us about that. The Wellness Center, we moved to 602 East Santa Clara Street. We were on 555 North 1st Street, but um, the new location is a lot bigger. We're able to hold uh, more community events there and things. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a really good location. Yeah. And you also... Um, kind of sponsor or co-sponsor the American Indian Heritage Celebration. Right. And that is in October, September, October time frame. Right. Probably September, October sometime. So yeah. that'll be a great event uh, coming up. Already planning it, huh? Yeah, definitely. Have to. <laughs> I know. All these things take so much time to right. put together and to organize. And, exactly. And, you know, a lot of our audience here today is from the community, and there are people that work very hard in the community on a lot of these activities, these fundraisers, right. the uh, Heritage Celebration. In fact, they just came from a meeting. Right. So you put them to work, and then you said, okay, now you can laugh. You get a little preview of the show, so right? <laughs> but I want to thank everyone for joining us, the, especially uh, our audience. audience. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Mark, from, thank for you. flying in. Woo! Okay. <laughs> thank you, because I know it's it, you're, you're traveling tonight. You have another show tonight it's and then tomorrow. To be here, though, and you know, anytime. Thank you. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I'm in the area. <laughs> okay, you got it. <laughs> thank you. And thank you for being here, Vernon, too. Thank you, Rose. Appreciate and, uh, it. For all the work you do in the community. And I hope everybody comes out to the, um, the what are, you, are we calling it? The Comedy Jam. Yeah, yep. the Comedy Jam. All right. And that's on March 28th uh, on a Saturday night. Yep. Come out, uh, help out the Indian Health Center fundraiser. And uh, it'll be a lot of fun. The last thing we're going to leave you with is our prayers and blessings go to Rob Robideau family, which is, he was Leonard Peltier's cousin and also involved with um, the shootout and the FBI and he, a long time uh, American Indian movement aimster. So our, our prayers go out to you. Good night.